Hey guys, welcome to Old Beauty Cars Workshop. How's everyone doing? Anyways, uh, this is my next project here, 48 Ford Custom. This one is not inspired by Bad Chad this time. This is my own creation, and I see he's doing another chop top. A man loves chop tops, eh? <laughs> Anyways, this one's already chopped because I guess it's already a custom. So I'm gonna be building it like this car up here, the red car up here in the corner, like that. Um, I don't think I built one. I don't think I built one like that yet, with all those kind of f funky fender flares and stuff on there. Body molding, I guess it is. So. But we got um, some good ideas for this for this car. It's gonna be a total outright custom. Um, well, I don't know. I don't remember what's in here. It's been a while since I built a forty-eight Ford. Quite a long time. I get tired of building trucks, and it's just nice to build something different. You guys know this kit. I'm pretty sure every Joe Blow on. Uh, uh, the model community has built this kit. Pretty pretty straightforward, right? Lots of cool chrome, lots of good chrome. So there's lots of lots of high detail parts in this kit here. Lots of goodies, that is for sure. So so little flathead in it. Here's the body. I mean I guess the radio is a chop top, so we're not gonna muck with we're not gonna mess around with it. I think it's pretty good the way it is. So remember um it should be some kids way back when they used to have actually house photo wedge parts in them already, but I haven't seen a kit like that in a long time. Yeah, so it's pretty standard 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 stuff. I think it's actually going to be really cool uh, doing it with that different kind of body molding on there. I think it's going to be really, really cool to do it that way. I think most times I didn't even, I just threw the body molding in the garbage because uh, I thought it was kind of, kind of weird, but that's okay. You got to build something different once in a while, right? Because the mover, this one actually, like I said, this is a really good kit. It has the louvered, uh, louvered hood in this one here. We're gonna use that one, I think, and these uh, extra body moldings, we're gonna use those. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. You spend more time uh, building than collecting, right? <laughs> so, but yeah, this has the good old standard uh, front end stuff on it. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna build it with the straight axle on this one or not. I may make it custom. I do. I do like the straight axles, but sometimes I like to stay, save the straight axles for other um, like uh, gasser projects. So, so this one has lots of lots of good parts in it for doing other projects. So, but yeah, so I'm gonna put that right there because we need that ASAP. And um, you know, the interior is the interior is fairly basic. Nothing crazy about that. Interior, pretty pretty base interior, right? You know, pretty basic. Nothing, nothing will be crazy about it. This bag, bag of goodies. So, This one just has the frame and stuff in it. So, take a bag here and see what we got. I think I'm gonna be doing something really custom with this car here. I think we're gonna take the front end out of it and I think we're gonna put something else cool in it. Do 
do a uh, a Sheldon uh, do a uh, Sheldon uh, Roth uh, special. <laughs> hey, where is Sheldon? I haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, lost speech up. Where are you, buddy? I haven't seen you in a long time. I guess he's taking breaks, I guess. So, uh, yeah, it's fairly, fairly basic. So, uh, yeah. Do the wheels, like those kind of like that kind of stuff. Good old frame. This, this is actually this is actually a really good frame, you know. It has a, the right thickness and everything to it, right thickness for the frame. So if you want to graft something on there, you don't have to piss around adding filler pieces, this and that. You just kind of graft it right on. Your kind of whatever chassis you decide to go with. But yeah, we have modern battery. Old school battery. So I think we're gonna change it up quite a bit. Uh, I think we are. Something different. Do a little bit of kit bashing, huh? Haven't done that in a long time, eh? I mean, this kit had lots of cool, lots of cool parts in it. And uh, still rolling, yeah. It's a cool parts in it. So the other axle here, the other axle is a drop axle, which is cool. But it has uh, lots of old school parts and stuff in it. But um, I think I like to put this chassis or use the chassis, but I'm gonna uh, incorporate some modern suspension under it. So um, yeah. Try to use as much, you know, much as original as we can. The radiator, seats, and motor, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. It's a really high detail kit, it's really, really good. What else we got? Oh. We got some. White wall tires, I like those, I love those. But they're never, they're never freaking wide enough. That's the problem. What is those skinny solid time? Which are good for some projects. And give you a piss poor uh, small deco sheet, as always. And big instruction manual. Good. I've seen some of these instruction manuals lately. Some of these that are, take the, the Kind of looking at it, like where the hell's the damn freaking part go? Like, god damn it, you know. <laughs> but anyways, the usual stuff, the glass and that kind of crap. Glass is pretty nice. So, anyways, guys, that's uh, <sighs> that's what you're building. <clears throat> damn it. I'm sleeping. It's not going to work. So, I'm put in a 12, put in a 10 hour shift tonight. So, anyways, um, there's guys, uh, that's all to say. Uh, thanks for watching my video and uh, stay tuned for this project coming up. Be pretty much a uh, custom, custom car, pretty much, and with some modern uh, parts in it, and go from there. All right, talk to you later.